Hello friends, welcome to Wikipedia. Our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn. This channel majorly covers various topics on mechanical engineering. So today's topic will be Brunel harness. So in this topic we will see four different areas. One is what is mean by harness and indentation method used for harness checking and Brunel harness number and finally advantages and disadvantages of Brunel harness number. So let's start. So harness is the ability of material to resist deformation. So every material is having some resistance for the deformation that is called harness. Now there are three various methods used to measure the harness in the material. First one is scratch harness. By scratching the material harness is measured. Second one is indentation method where external force through a ball tip it is indented on the test piece. So the indentation measured and evaluated into harness. And third one is rebound method where external force is applied on test, test, test piece and energy loss of energy loss during elasticity is measured and evaluated into harness. So in these three indentation harness method is widely used in mechanical as well as especially in automobile engineering field. So let us see what is indentation harness measuring method. So test piece is indented until an impression is formed by a harder ball with an external force. You can see the below image so where a hardened ball with the external force is indented. It is pressed again is the test piece. So in the test piece there is an indentation is left after the force applied. So that indentation diameter is measured and further evaluated and converted into hardness. This is called indentation method. There are four different hardness under indentation method are being followed in engineering field. There are Brunel harness, Vickers harness, Rockwell harness and Sore harness. So in this video we will see in detail about Brunel harness. John August Brunel, a Swedish metallurgy engineer who invented the Brunel harness. The test is followed from 1 diameter ball to till 10 diameter ball as an intender. It's a hardened ball and intender. So in the force may be 500 kg to 3000 kg. For softer material it is 500 kg but commonly the diameter is 10 mm and the load is 3000 kg in Brunel harness testing. So the if you see the below picture you can understand when the ball is just pressed on the test piece it creates an indentation and that indentation diameter is called D1 that can be measured easily by microscopic or by eye, bare eyes. So that diameter after measurement that can be just taken into the chart that impression diameter and based on the load for example if it is a 2.2 and the 3000 load and that materials hardness is 780 bhn so that can be taken out from the conversion chart in easily so it's widely used in bigger parts like castings heavier structures this method is being used and let us see the advantages and disadvantages of Brunel harness testing and Brunel harness number. So let's see the advantages first. It is a very less sensitive and more accurate due to heavier load is being followed. And it can bear heavy load during testing. And indentation 
can be measured through a microscope or eyepiece. Like I said earlier, it can be easily measured through, through without any equipments. And uh, it is being just widely used in the heavier casting parts in automobile engineering and structural parts in other mechanical engineering processes. And coming to disadvantages, it is not at all suitable for small size and thin objects and sheet metal parts because it damages the parts, creates indentation on the surface. So the small parts cannot withstand this higher load. And second point is it cannot, it can be measured only for the flat surfaces. It is cannot be used for a tube and other structural, I mean, uh, circular form of parts. And it slightly becomes inaccurate for the hardened parts. So when wherever the hardened parts being tested, due to hardened surface and higher load, this steel ball can get deformed. So these areas it cannot be used. So friends, hope you got basic clarity about Brunel harness number. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and share the video. Thank you.